Google's Notebook LM has become a really popular AI tool, mostly due to its AI podcast generation. But did you guys know we can actually use this tool to help with our SEO and content creation? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan. My mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this below this video. But now let's dive back into this tutorial on Notebook LM. So first off, I'm going to assume most of you know what Notebook LM is, but if you don't, all you need to do is go to notebooklm.google, and this is probably one of Google's best AI tools that they've released so far, in my opinion. They define it as your personalized AI research assistant. There are so many things that this tool can do, and I made a video talking about five real-world use cases for Notebook LM. You can find the link for this below this video if you're a beginner and have never heard of this tool. But once you're on Notebook LM's website, click Try Notebook. Book LM. If you're signed into a free Google account, this is what your screen will look like here. And then you just click create new. And so this is what your screen will look like when creating a new notebook. So when it comes to using Notebook LM for SEO, one of the very first things we can do is leverage this tool to help us with content outlines. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So let's say in this example, I wanna rank for the keyword best AI tools for podcasting. Obviously, if you're in a different niche, this would be a different type of keyword. So whatever that is, type that into Google and analyze the SERP or search engine results page and see who ranks high for that keyword. So right here, I have Lower Street. They have the featured snippet. The podcast host, pod squeeze. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come to each individual website. I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to add each one of these as a source. I'm going to click website under link, paste the URL. We're going to insert that. Let's go to my second source, copy, come back to notebook LM, add a website, paste, and let's do the third one on pod squeeze, copy, come back to notebook LM, paste the URL, click insert. So now we have our three sources of the top three competitors. The very next step that we wanna do is copy and paste a prompt that reads the following. And I'm going to leave all the prompts that I mentioned in the video description below so you guys can easily access this. And where it says this little chat text box here, it says start typing. I'm going to prompt it with the following. Give me an SEO content outline based on the sources that are my top ranking competitors for the keyword AI tools for podcasting. In the content outline, include SEO title, meta description, headings, recommended word count, search intent, LSI keywords, suggested links, and anything else you think that is important to help me outrank my competitors, competitor sources for this keyword on Google. And again, you can add any other details that you want here that you think would be helpful. I just think this would give you a very good start. Then I'm going to click go, and now it's going to do this. So I'm going to come back after this output is complete. All right, so here's the content outline that Notebook LM helped me generate. Also keep in mind, they're using Gemini, which is Google's LLM or AI model behind the scenes to power all of this. So here it says SEO content outline based on the keyword. So here it gives you an outline, the SEO title, the meta description, the search intent, LSI keywords, suggested external links, recommended word count, headings. So it gives you all the different headings here. And then what you can do here, this is the beautiful part about this, is you can use a tool like ChatGPT or Claude. You can use custom GPTs or Claude projects to actually write the content. And that's what I recommend you would do if you want to write it with AI versus actually writing it with Notebook LM. I think Notebook LM is great for something like a content outline and not actually producing the content. So then what you can do is you can literally copy and paste this entire thing here and for example, I'm gonna open up Claude and I have my own Claude project that kind of mimics my voice in the best way possible. And I'm going to say something like, I'm going to provide a content outline um, where I want to write a blog post targeting the keyword, what was it, AI podcast, or the AI tools for podcasting. See if I can even type here, guys. AI tools for podcasting. Once I provide the outline, generate an SEO optimized blog post. 
really struggling to type today, guys. So I'm going to click enter there. And then it's going to come back and probably say something like provide the outline. And again, I copied that uh, outline from Notebook LM. And then I'm going to wait for Claude to process this first before I go in and give it this. So it says, I understand. And then I'm going to paste that entire outline that Notebook LM generated. And then I'm going to click enter. And then I'm going to come back after this output is complete. All right, so that took about 30 seconds for Claude to generate that based on the outline created by Notebook LM. And here's the blog post on the right. Best AI podcasting tools. There's the title here, the H1. Uh, so there's the intro, little intro here too. AI tools for content planning, script writing, and outline generation. Um, so here's another one, another one. So not bad. I mean, obviously we could go back here and fine tune this. And this is what I always recommend you do whenever you write content with ChatGPT or Claude is say, actually, I want these headings. I don't want these headings. Actually remove this, actually add that. So it's not going to be a one shot. And then you copy and paste it onto your website and you're going to rank. You're going to have to fine tune this and add what I call human polishing. But long story short, that is the very first way that we can use Notebook LM for SEO is creating content outlines. Now, another way we can use Notebook LM for SEO is repurposing YouTube videos into SEO optimized blog posts. Now I have several tutorials on my channel on how you can actually do this using custom GPTs, Claude projects, but you also can use Notebook LM for something like this as well, if that's something you decide to do. So in this example, let's say I wanna repurpose my recent YouTube video on Jelly Pod Review, which is actually an AI podcast generator that's an alternative to Notebook LM. What you can do is click into your video. Let's see here. Start. Actually, I'm going to skip ad. So I just pause it. So what you can do is click any video that you want to repurpose into an SEO optimized blog post, scroll down, actually you need to get the description down here, scroll down, and then you should see an option that says show transcript. I'm going to click that. And on the right hand side, you're going to copy and paste the entire transcript. Make sure I get everything here. I'm going to copy and paste this whole thing. Copy. And then I'm going to come back to Notebook LM, and what I'm going to do is add a source. I'm going to click Add Source. I'm going to click Copied Text, paste it in here, click Insert. So now I just inserted my transcript as a source on Notebook LM. Then what I'm going to do is use a prompt like this. I'm going to copy and paste this. Again, this is a long prompt. You can find it in the description below. I'm going to come into the text box, paste the prompt, and this prompt reads the following. Based on my video transcript for the keyword, now my keyword in this example would be jelly pod review. I'm gonna do jelly pod review. Write an SEO optimized blog post for this keyword too. In the blog post, please provide the provided guide. Please follow the provided guidelines. If I could talk here, right guys? So then I have all these guidelines. And again, I'm not gonna read through all of these different guidelines. These are just guidelines to help create an SEO optimized blog post. I'm gonna click go. And then I'm gonna come back after this output is complete. All right, so here's the article that I got from Notebook LM based on that video transcript. It gives me a meta description, an SEO title. Uh, what is JellyPod? It goes to a deep dive of what JellyPod features are. Creating AI podcasts. Uh, JellyPod offers various options for sharing and distributing. It talks about the pricing, uh, voice customization. It even provides FAQs, and it also provides a conclusion. So this article, it's not bad, right? But it might not be the best that you can do. So what you can do from here is you can copy and paste this entire article, come back to something like Claude, or you could also do this in ChatGPT, and you can prompt Claude with something like the following. I'm gonna provide a blog post targeting the keyword jelly pod review. I want you to rewrite it and make whatever improvements you think are necessary to give me the best chances to rank for this keyword on Google. And the reason I keep coming back to Claude, for those wondering, is I've actually had better outputs. I think the outputs of Claude 3.5 Sonnet are higher quality in terms of article generations, long form two, versus what you get from something like Google Gemini or even some GPT models. So then I'm gonna paste my article, click enter, and then I'm just gonna skip ahead after this output is finished. All right, so here's the results that I just got from Claude. And as you can see right here, I do like this output a lot better. Just looking through this, right? Quick verdict, getting started with JellyPod, AI host creation, a lot of things that I talked about in that video, which it got from the transcript, content generation process, advanced features, pricing, JellyPod versus Notebook LM. I like that. Pro tips for best results, bottom line. 
I just prefer the quality of written outputs from Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Again, you guys might have your preferences. I've just found that I get better results from Claude versus Google Gemini or GPT-40 or other GPT models. But again, that is another way that you can use Notebook LM for SEO is repurposing YouTube videos using the transcripts to SEO optimized blog posts. And you can even take it another step by copying and pasting the first draft into another tool like Claude or ChatGPT to help improve that even further. So on the flip side, another way we can use Notebook LM to help with SEO is repurposing written content into videos or podcasts. I'm going to show you what I mean by this. So on my website, here's another article I'm going to use as an example. What you can do is you can either copy and paste the URL or you can copy and paste the actual text and just paste that as text like we did in the previous example for the video transcript. I'm just gonna copy and paste the URL and see what happens here. So I'm gonna add a source, add a website under link. I'm gonna click paste and I'm going to click insert. See, sometimes this doesn't work. That's why you have to copy and paste the text. So now let's go back and copy and paste the text. Scroll down. I'm gonna copy even the FAQs copy, come back to Notebook LM. I'm actually going to remove that source, add a new one, and then just paste text right here. Then I'm going to click insert. And then what we can do is like I've talked about in previous videos on Notebook LM is you can generate an audio overview. But what you can do first before you just click generate is you can click customize. So if there are certain things that you wanted to talk about in your you know, audio overview versus just letting the machine run with it, you can definitely do that. So I had ChatGPT help me a little bit. I asked it to basically summarize my article in three bullet points in less than 500 characters because that's the limit you can add here. And I'm going to paste what it said. I'm going to say, what should the AI host focus on? ChatGPT Plus is versatile for content creation, etc. Claude Pro excels in personalized large scale content creation. Perplexity Pro is ideal for research, in-depth results. You can add whatever you want here to try to get the best output possible for an AI podcast. Then I'm going to click generate. And this might take a little bit, so I'm going to skip ahead after this output is complete. All right, so that actually took a couple minutes for that to fully process. And let's play this really quickly and see how it turned out. Kind of overwhelming. It really is, yeah. It changes so fast too. So today we're gonna zero in on three that you found in your research. Chat GPT Plus, Claude Pro, and uh, Perplexity Pro. A good mix. Should give us some insight into what's out there. That's so cool. I even like how he stuttered there and was like a uh, perplexity pro. So it just sounds really realistic, but that's not the purpose of what I'm trying to explain here. What you can do after this is generated, click this options button and then click download. And this will download it as a WAV file. If you need an MP3, you can convert it. There's a million different file converters out there. But where I'm going with this is once you have that audio file, you can use a tool like Revid AI where you upload that WAV or MP3 MP3 audio file, and this can create a video based on the audio file. It has all this different stock footage that it can put in behind the scenes. It can add subtitles, right? You can do vertical or horizontal format. And then from there, you can download the video as an MP4 or whatever the file format is and upload it in platforms like YouTube or even SoundCloud, right? There's SoundCloud ranks for various keywords, funny enough, um, but YouTube definitely ranks for a lot of keywords. So in this example, if I I type in which paid AI tools are worth it on Google and scroll down. Notice there's a whole video section here. Obviously that's my video, so I love to see that. But for various keywords on the internet, Google is ranking, or excuse me, YouTube is ranking very high for a lot of keywords. So that's why this is so important on using Notebook LM to repurpose blog posts to YouTube videos, for example, is that you can start to rank in Google as a YouTube video in addition to your blog post. It's another way to capture more real estate on SERPs that get more competitive by the day. Now, another way we can use Notebook LM for SEO is assistance with editing and improving our existing content. I'm going to show you what I mean here. So for example, on my website at AIinsidertips.com, I have an article here, SEO writing AI review. So I'm, obviously that's my target keyword. I'm trying to target SEO, SEO writing AI review on Google. Now, unfortunately, I am not ranking on page one for this keyword. It uh, looks like it's somewhat competitive here. We have, you know, Reddit, we have SEO, obviously SEO writing 
creating AI, Trustpilot, Medium. So some parasite outlets here getting that keyword. But let's say I wanna have Notebook LM try to help me rank on page one of Google for this keyword. What I can do is I'm gonna start a new notebook here. I'm gonna click add source and I'm going to copy and paste this entire article. So I'm gonna copy, scroll down, command C, copy it, come back to notebook LM. I'm gonna paste the text right here, paste, and I'm going to click insert. And so now it has that inserted text that I just copy and pasted for my existing blog post. Then what you can do is you can prompt it with something that reads the following. So I'm gonna copy this on my prompts. I'm gonna come back to Notebook LM. And again, I will leave this prompt in the description if you wanna go find it. I'm gonna to come to the text box and I'm going to paste that prompt here. So it says, I'm working on improving the SEO for the source that I uploaded, which is a blog post titled, and this is where you would insert your title. I'm gonna do SEO writing AI review. I'm just gonna do that. Actually, let's do the full title. SEO, SEO writing AI review, the best AI writing tool in 2024. I'm gonna copy and paste my full title, come back to Notebook LM, paste it, perfect. Please review the following post and provide suggestions to optimize it for search engines. Specifically, I'd like feedback on the following. So this is what I'm asking Notebook LM for feedback on. Keyword optimization, meta tags, content structure, links, search intent, readability, and any other important SEO enhancements worth mentioning. Then I'm going to click enter. And then I'm gonna come back after this output is complete. All right, so here's some of the advice that Notebook LM or Google Gemini, I guess you could say, is providing me with. It says, here's some suggestions to optimize your blog posts based on your request and the excerpts. Keyword optimization, primary keyword is a suitable primary keyword. Consider including additional keywords, AI writing tool, that, yeah, that's not bad. Long tail keywords such as best AI writing tool, AI writing practice, long tail keywords targeting a more specific audience. Not terrible advice, some meta tags. Uh, so it says it could benefit from front loading the primary keyword and adding a benefit driven element, uh, meta description, content structure. Uh, so it says consider adding a heading addressing the tools comparison to competitors. That's a good idea because I don't actually do that in the blog post. Uh, visuals, it's telling me to add more visuals, uh, internal and external links, search intent. Um, and again, you guys get the idea here, but if you're looking for help on just how you can improve an existing article and try to get it to rank on page one, or if it's ranking, you know, five or six, how do we get it to one, two, or three? You can use a tool like Notebook LM by copying and pasting your source here and then prompting it with something like I just did in this example to get actual feedback and then use this advice and then help fine tune and optimize your article. So I hope that all made sense and I appreciate you all who have made it this far. If you found value on how you can use a tool like Notebook LM to help you with SEO or content, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I wanna hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below as well. Do you use Notebook LM for tasks like this? Do you use other tools? Let me know what you guys are thinking. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.